Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Target makeup haul and kind of my everyday makeup routine. I went to Target yesterday looking for some new alternative and to try new makeup. So I'm going to show you today how I achieved this look with my Target makeup haul. So let's get started. So I already primed my face actually with this Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. So I did not get this from Target, but it is my favorite. You can get it at Sephora, and I believe you can also get it at Ulta. I just like using a primer after I wash my face and put my moisturizer on. I just feel like it gives me like a good base, like a very satin finish, so I can just put my foundation on over top of it. This is not from Target, but this is my go-to for primers. also got this cute little tote at Target. I think it was like $12. I have been using literally a Lululemon like little bag for my makeup to carry in back and forth from like the shorts and stuff so I finally just was like you know let me get like a cute little case so I can just keep everything in because I don't know why I really dig through a bag every single time I go so yeah so I got this little cute little makeup case it's by Sonia Kushuk I know you guys have probably seen her stuff she has like a lot of makeup bags in Target that you can buy so this one I got so I'm kind of just gonna walk you guys through what I got like, I got stuff for like a full phase of makeup so I'm going to just go through each product and apply it as I go trying to make a new Target makeup look. Okay so I actually got a new beauty blender because mine has is like so ripped and so old already so I decided to get a new one. This one is by Real Techniques by Sam and Nick so it's pretty big. I used to love Makeup Forever foundation but I decided like it's gotten too pricey and I just think you can definitely find a cheaper alternative so lately I have been using the Neutrogena um, skin clearing oil free makeup. I do love this one. I used to use this when I was younger when I had more breakouts. But a lot of you guys have been telling me to use the Maybelline Fit Me, so I got both of them. I want to try, probably going to try the Fit Me because I know how this one is. Okay, so I went my Beauty Blender. I totally was not thinking how big it was when I bought it because now it expanded and it's literally huge. But we're going to make it work. So I also hope this is my right shade. So many of you guys, I remember I posted on Instagram like a while ago and so many of you were saying how much you love this foundation. So I was like, okay, I have to try it. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit here. And I really just apply foundation all over. Another thing, I always go down my chin. I never want to look like I have like a mask on my face. Okay, so that is the foundation. So now next step, I like to do eyeshadow personally because I think if you get any um, runoff on the bottom of your eyes, you can kind of conceal it and get it away. So. Next, I am going to do eyeshadow. I actually did not purchase any eyeshadow from Target yesterday, so I'm going to use what I normally use, which is just a simple palette. It's like a velvet matte palette that I got from Marshalls, but I really just honestly use like this for my lid and these at the bottom for my crease. I really just don't really do much red. It's really just like browns. I'm not huge on eyeshadow. I kind of just, I have hooded eyes, so I kind of just fill in my crease a little bit, give a little more dimension, lift my eye. So yeah. So this brush is, I honestly think a brush will make or break your eyeshadow. It is so old that the MAC uh, writing ripped off, but I will link below what brush this is. I'm pretty sure it's like the standard brush that everyone has for MAC for their eyeshadow. It really is great. Again, I do nothing too fancy. I'm really just kind of... I used to, when I was in high school, do so much makeup, and it would take me hours on end. I used to wear fake eyelashes, have like winged eyeliner. I just literally feel like I don't have time to do that anymore. And yeah, I just kind of tone it down. And I kind of cut my makeup routine in half. I also, and maybe this is weird, I like to kind of tilt my head back to look where my actual crease is to fill it. And I kind of just blend it in as I go, so. Just using like a windshield wiper motion to blend it out. Again, I really think eyeshadow is just, you have to do it to yourself and you kind of just have to practice on your own eye and you can kind of understand where to put it and how to blend it out. It Again, I really just use, keep using this windshield wiper technique and then I just apply as needed. I really focus on the outside corner and then I'll go inside or even if you look down you can kind of see where your folds of your eyes are. Sorry guys I'm looking over here because I can't look at you guys because I'm trying to look at what I'm doing. I 
I will say that Fit Me foundation reminds me of a tanning salon. I have no idea why. It just really does smell like a tanning booth or like a spray tan. Okay, so now that I finished that, I'm going to curl my lashes and put my first coat of mascara on. So this is the next step for me. I think this is really important. Um, I'm going to put my first coat of mascara on, but first I always take a little toolie brush like this that you use for your eyebrows, and I just kind of brush down my eyebrows, my, ugh, brush down my eyelashes so they're just all straight and separated because I feel like when you do that, they just won't clump as easy when you curl them. I don't know, maybe this just works for me, but that's what I did. Okay, so normally I use Better Than Sex Mascara, but again, this is a Target haul, so I wanted to get what I used to use in high school. This is the Telescopic Black. People love this, and I haven't tried it in a long time, so I'm kind of excited, so it's fun. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes now. So... As I'm excited. I haven't used this since literally high school. Like, I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. Honestly, guys, I have to go do this somewhere. I'll be back in one second. Okay, guys, so I am back. I put this on in the mirror because I could not do it on the camera. But I do really like this for lengthwise. But I will say the brush is very thin. Just my personal preference. I do like my Better Than Sex Mascara better. Just because I feel like it's a thicker brush. And it kind of like lifts them and gives them volume. Um, yeah, so again, I do like this. It's probably like my second favorite, but it's not probably my go-to, so I'll probably use this some days. I'll probably always use my Better Than Sex Mascara, just because I feel like these really give you length, but they're kind of, they make them thin and kind of spidery. I kind of like mine thicker and more like voluminous, so, but yeah, I do really like this though. So that's the telescopic, so I just put my mascara on, and now we're going to go to the concealer I just bought at Target. So I end up getting the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer to go with the Fit Me foundation I have. Also, by the way, that foundation I did buy is not matte, it's dewy. Personally, I just like a dewy finish on my skin. Um, I like at the very end when I put my uh, I put my setting spray on my face. Um, I like that dewy kind of like soft altogether finish. So that's why I didn't get matte because I feel like um, with, you know, my bronzer and my powder, it's more mattified. So I just like to keep my skin more dewy look. And so let's try some. So another thing, I did not buy this yesterday at Target, but it is at Target, and this is my current um, concealer. So I use the Adri line um, by Maybelline. Um, I do really like this one. I really don't have any problems with it, but I kind of just want to try a new one to see if this one maybe worked better with the Fit Me concealer. So yeah, so we're going to try this one today, but I do love this one. It's a go-to of mine. So I want to see how these two compare to each other. Okay, so also the way I do my concealer is I used to always, always, always in high school... And early college, I used to bake my face, right? So, um, baking is when you put your um, wet concealer on your face and you actually put a drying, usually translucent or white powder over it to kind of set it. And I did really love that um, technique. It just took me a lot of time and I just kind of found that my foundation and my concealer were kind of staying on my face. So I kind of used to now skip that um, step. But again, it's a good step to have. Just I right now currently don't have that in my like quick daily routine. So again, I kind of just conceal around my eyes, um, here, a little bit of here. I used to go really, really far down my face and then come all the way up like a triangle, but recently I did see someone talking about how you don't have to go all the way down on your face because, um... Because if you have a head shape like I do, you kind of want it to be like up here and not all the way down here because it kind of brings your face down. So I kind of just want to keep that tight up here. Also, call me crazy. Well, maybe not, but I love doing this. I like having a very cut jawline. So what I'll do normally is I'll kind of, you know, make that face. And put those right in there so then later when we go to um, blend it out and then put our um, bronzer on it actually kind of just makes it look very cut but also kind of natural so that's what I do for my concealer. and again just simple maybe this was too light for my face I don't know okay, so I just take that and blend that out
again just using pressing motions I don't like dragging motions at all so that was the one also I really do think a beauty blender can make or break your foundation and your concealer so get one that's very porous in my opinion that you can really press in and it really gets damp Great, so maybe that was a little too light of a concealer for my skin, so we will see how that looks off camera, but, um, so yeah, so this is me blending it in. Also, if you want to, I learned this trick actually, like, years ago, um, from YouTube, your ring finger is actually your least sensitive finger, um, yeah, I think that makes sense. So if you want, just very gently take your fingers and tap underneath if you feel like you missed any lines. Okay, so next is bronzer. So I did not get this at Target, unfortunately, but this is my go-to bronzer. I really don't see me veering away from this bronzer. I just always had it, that or the Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Souffle. Um, so this is Hula Benefit. Um, yeah, this has just always been my go-to favorite. So I'm just gonna put this on really quick and contour. So again, I like to just go right down, like in that cheekbone area again. I also like to take it up my face, so I'll go and blend it up. And then also take it up here a little bit, shape my forehead. Same thing with the other side. Is it just me or I always feel like one side so much easier to do than the other? Maybe it's just like a neck rotation thing? I'm not really sure. Like this side, easy. This side, difficult. <laughs> so that's my cheekbones and my forehead. I also will just very gently take this and because we highlighted here I kind of like want to make this thinner so just a little bit right here and blend it out and then I always just take a little more down my neck just to make sure it's all blended so yeah that's that for bronzer I hope that looks good on camera and then next I always do blush so the blush I did buy at Target I got two blushes actually to fit me um the fit me blush and I got the wet and wild blush this one looks a little more shiny and highlighted this one's pinch me pink and this one is 25 so I don't know what color this is um honestly I think I'm gonna try the wet and wild one it's a little more sparkly okay so let's hope this isn't crazy pigmented otherwise it's going to be a little scary so let's take a little bit of my brush tap and also with blush I really just try to keep it here kind of and not go too low because I feel like if I go too low it brings my face down so I'm just going to tap again guys everything is about blending if you do not blend it will not look nice so always I always over blend honestly just to make sure it's Okay, so next I'm going to do my highlighter. Again, sorry, this is not from Target. Um, I honestly should find one from Target because it's cheaper, but this Laura Mercier highlighter I have had forever. Um, I love it, and if you don't break it, it doesn't really go away. So I've had this for about like a year and a half already. It's like, you can see it's still all there. So just take that, put it on my cheeks a little. Again, I'm no makeup expert, so I kind of just put it on the top of my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, here. Okay, so that is everything. I'm going to curl my lashes again, put a second coat on. I always do that after I'm done with everything. I don't know why, it's just like a thing. It's like a routine I do. So I'm going to curl my lashes again, and then last is lips. Okay, so I'm back. So I just curl my lashes again, and I will say, after looking in the mirror, I... Really, I'm not a huge fan of the telescopic just because I used to love it and they get my eyelashes really long, but I just love the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced so much better because it gives you a voluminous, like, thicker look. And also, I, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but if you can see the... 
you can see I feel like my concealer is already creasing right here so I probably would stick I'm probably going to stick with my Maybelline Asia Wine one just because I don't really feel like I have to um, seal that one. This one, you can tell I'm not even doing my makeup and it's already creasing. The Atria Wine does not crease for me, so I think I'm going to stick with that one. But next up is lips. So I lately have been on like a lip kick, so I'm trying to find new ones. So I got a bunch of them, so I'm probably only going to try a couple and I'll give a review of the other ones below. So I got the um, Soap and Glory Mother Pucker. I know a lot of people use this. People like it. I got a NYX Powder Puff lippy i wanted to get their sticks but they really didn't have any nude lip uh liners there and then i got these maybelline ink crayons so i'm going to try a one or two and then see how they look yeah so i just took out this powder puff lippy by nyx and it's kind of cool it's like a little applicator i'm assuming i have to squeeze this and it's going to come out the top is that wrong for assume? oh here it comes i see it Is it okay? So, do I reach this up farther? Ooh. Guys, it's kind of cool. All right, hold on. I want to do this right so I can show you guys what it looks like. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So, I did apply this, and I actually do really like the application of it. Um, you probably have to put a liner on with it because I give you a precise tip to put it on your lips, so you kind of have to like very carefully shape them. Um, I think the color is a little bright for me, but I do really think it's a good um, lippy. It um, it feels very soft. I'm not sure if it would dry out in a few hours, but it seems pretty good right now. So I can probably update you guys later on how that worked. But yeah, I actually really do like this by NYX. I know NYX is a lot of, everyone loves NYX um, lip products, so I'll probably try more of them. But yeah, I really do like this. What color was this? This was Squad Goals. I do like this one. Usually I'm not a lip person, I usually just go for like a simple kind of gloss. Alright, so now I'm going to take this off and try this one. Okay, so I'm back. So, um, I took off that lippy and now I'm going to try this one. I honestly don't even know if this is a color. I think it's a little bit of a color. But, let's see. Okay, so, yeah. There wasn't much color with this one. Personally, for me, I don't like putting gloss over just my plain lips because my plain lips don't have color or shape to them. Um, I have small lips, as you can tell. So, I usually like putting a liner underneath it. So, maybe I will try this, though, with maybe a NYX nude liner with this over top of it and see how that works. Maybe I'll go back tomorrow and get it. But, yeah. Okay, guys. So, that is my makeup target haul and my kind of daily makeup routine or how I do my makeup every day. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And thanks, everyone.